ready for school? Yeah. What is today? Fun, fun day. What is fun day? You get to play outside all day, and I think they give you sack lunches, and there's bounce houses out there. Are you you get to play kickball and mm -hmm. stuff. That sounds like fun. Today is Thursday. Your last mm -hmm. day of school is tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Are you excited? Yeah. No, not really, because I won't be able to see my my favorite teacher anymore. Oh, you'll still see her in school next year, though. <coughs> We're going to see her next year. And yeah, then she'll you're going be to middle school. Mm -hmm. And Kaya third grade. is going to third <coughs> grade. Just have fun, because this is almost your last day. You guys have a wonderful day, okay? Mm -hmm. Yay! School's almost out! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, let's get in the car and head to school. We're not going to show any of fun day, though. Huh. I'm just sending you off to school. All right, tell everybody have a good morning. Have good, a good morning. morning. Bye. Or have a good night, depending on where you live. Yep, there you go. All right, let's go. Bye. Hey, Shug. Brought you some cold water. Finally. <laughs> you ready for a break? Yard looks awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Woo, I appreciate a hard working man, but man, you stink. I got just a thing for that. Thank goodness. Today's video is brought to you by Black Wolf. Black Wolf is a man's wellness brand that help men feel and look better by using their skin, hair, and body care products. So if you guys are halfway like me after a long, hard day's work, especially here on the farm, one thing I love to do is come in, clean my face off, and take a hot, warm shower. Since I've been using Black Wolf products, I've noticed softer, smoother skin, less redness. I also love the subtle blue sage and citrus scent. It lathers really nicely, so a little goes a long way. So Black Wolf products have free standard shipping on all U.S. orders. You can even go to their user-friendly website, subscribe, and get refills delivered to suit your schedule, meaning that you never have to run out of your favorite products. Click the link in my description to get Black Wolf's best-selling charcoal-infused products in this exclusive face and body wash bundle and receive a free body scrubber and toiletry bag, which is worth $29. All that for $31 in free U.S. shipping. Come in. You about ready? Yep. Wow, what's that amazing smell? Uh, that is my new Black Wolf body wash. Hmm, yours. We'll Mine. see about that. <laughs> And they say this is for men only, not hardly. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. I'm Rachel. Um, as you've seen in the previous footage, I shared just a glimpse of our morning routine. Um, our kids are super excited. School is winding down, and we're fixing to hit the summer running, let me tell you. So I am excited. This is going to be my first summer at home with my kids. We're going to do all kinds of things. I'm, I'm just beyond thrilled about that, but uh, I have come back home from dropping off the kids at school. I'm having my morning coffee, and yes, this is a Ray Dunn mug like you see on the uh, walkers. I'm kind of I'm kind of envious of some of her Ray Dunn mugs. We may have to do some swapping. I don't know, or I'm going to have to up my collection, but I love Ray Dunn coffee mugs. But anyway, so we are going to be moving some of the chicks that we hatched out. Um, they're actually in the quail hutch for now, and they have become teenagers. And they are feisty teenagers at this point. <laughs> so it is apparent that they need to be moved in the next phase, which is going to be the turkey enclosure. That's where we always move what we consider the teenage chickens. We put them in there um, so they have more room, more room to grow before we actually turn them out to be completely free range chickens. They have some more growing to do. 
Um, I don't want to turn them out completely free range at this stage um, because they're going to get picked off by owls and hawks. Um, and, you know, when I said feisty teenagers, that's because um, the other morning I told Kevin, I said, uh, some of those chickens are being quite aggressive, so we definitely need to get them moved. And that same day, they had actually picked one of the chicken's heads. So she is in the chicken hospital. <laughs> I quarantined her and she is still alive. I'll show you her in a little bit. But I have quarantined her to herself. That way she can heal and eventually be turned out with the others. Uh, so before we get started, um, I have got to run to the local feed store and it's actually in the next town. <laughs> we don't have anything right in our town because we are very rural. We don't have a lot of things that are local. So I'm going to run to the next town and I'm going to be getting either some uh, pine shavings or some straw to put in the turkey pen for the teenage turkeys uh, before we get them moved over. So I'm going to finish my coffee off here and then we're going to head to the next town over and visit our local feed store and get those supplies that's needed. See you guys. Okay guys, I'm back home and I'm gonna get all this unloaded from the truck into the ranger here and get it over to the turkey pen. Okay, so I have got two bags of large flake pine shavings and two bales of straw that I'm going to put in the turkey pen. Um, I have an extra bag of pine shavings left and an extra bale of straw. I always like to have extra laying around though because you never know when you're going to need it. So I always buy at least a little bit extra. So. Let's go get this unloaded in the turkey pen. The biggest challenge, doing chores, <laughs> when you have goats, is them being super nosy. Right, Ebony? Huh? <laughs> She's got them. Y'all, come on. <laughs> Two bags of 
large pine shavings will go not very far. So that's why I went ahead and got the two bells of straw because that actually covered quite a bit. And I don't even have it all spread out that much. So, yeah. That part's done. Now the hard part is getting the goats out of here. That's going to be a challenge. Aww. I see at least two. I bet she's got more. How sweet is that? Okay, mama. I hear ya. Oh, there's another one. Aw. My camera's fixing to die. I'll be back. Got them loaded up, ready to transport to the teenager pen. Y'all ready to go? Y'all be nice, okay? getting into their feed and then here's our waters so I've got the same setup just on some old scrap boards and I think they're pretty happy I would say I think there's a total of 16 in here I think I haven't counted them but I'm pretty sure there's 16 okay so we did have 17 in the teenager pen. One is still alive, but they did pick a pretty good place on her skull, so she is in the uh, Hen Heights Farm Hospital, I guess you'd say. I've got her quarantined to herself, so she can heal and hopefully rejoin these uh, feisty little teenagers out here. Skeeter, he's been a very good boy. He has stayed in the ranger this whole time. Being a very good boy, he don't know what to think of these baby chicks. He's like, man, they're noisy. <laughs> I think they'll be really happy in here. So. So I know I promised you guys a farm update, but I have kind of run out of time. It's taken me longer than expected, and I had some ru to run some errands in town today. Um, so, <laughs> as usual, I'm running out of time. That seems to be my normal. So, but I want to show you something real quick. And my camera died a while ago while I was trying to show you, so I don't know if I got it on camera or not. Um, so this is pretty cool. And then 
pardon the lighting here. This mama, look at all those babies. I see at least five. At least five. Yes, I'm not gonna touch your babies, mama. I'm just showing them off. I'm just showing them off. <laughs> How cute. Look, that one's climbing on top of her mom. How sweet is that? Good job, mama. So I'm pretty sure there's five, but I don't know for sure. And then we got this mama sitting on a clutch of eggs. She's always sitting, that mama right there. Okay, I'll leave you alone, mama. I'll leave you alone. I just wanted to see your babies. Yeah, they sure are cute. What are y'all looking at? What are you girls looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? Your nosy ghost face. They're all nosy. <laughs> Goats are just curious creatures. Okay, so I know I promised you guys the farm update of everything, but like I said, I don't have time. But before we go, I will go show you our new livestock guardian dog, Leesky, and give you a little update on him before we get off of here. This year, and then here's the temporary Hidden Heights Farm Hospital. <laughs> this is a little chick that's quarantined because they did a number on her. You, you can't really see the wound, but it's on top of her head. It looks black because I've sprayed that blue coat on her head, the antiseptic spray. But she's doing well. I think she will make a full recovery. Okay. Where's the big boy at? There he is. Right there. Sometimes it's hard to tell which one is him right here because he's the same color as some of the goats kind of which is good you know predator wise what are you doing Lasky? what are you doing hey how you doing hey Hey, big boy. You gotta sit still. You gotta sit still. Yeah. What are you doing? Hey. Hey, guys. This is the boy pen. Yeah, and you're a boy. This is a boy pen, and you're the boy. You're the main one. Yeah. Come here, Lisey. Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. He's a good boy. Yeah, he is uh, fitting right in, let me tell you. This is the fifth full day that he has been on our farm. And wow, am I impressed. Um, he has fit right in. He has awesome natural uh, guardian instincts already which is amazing he's only 13 weeks old um, so the first few days um, I was a little worried because the goats were so scared of him <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> oh he's so funny so the first few days, they were really scared of him. Um, and he just wanted to be with them. So he would not necessarily chase them, but run to be with them. So I was a little, I was a little worried. But since we started um, locking them up in the small corral area, which is more of a, a better bonding pen, um, we do that at nighttime and every morning, like you've seen this morning, I get up and let them out. And that has seemed to work like a charm. Uh, yeah, it's worked like a charm. So 
with that, they have bonded to him a lot more and now they are allowing him to lay in between them and he's, uh, they're allowing him to follow um, and he's just sleeping right with them. He has followed them throughout the day. Anywhere they go, he gets up and he lays, he lays right with them or he's on top of the dirt mound um, watching over them. So I'm just, I'm just so impressed. I mean, it was definitely a godsend um, that he came to us. And a big shout out to the breeder that we got him from, DGH Farms, uh, Donna and Greg Hughes up in uh, Tennessee. They have done an excellent job with this puppy. Uh, she already had him leash trained. Look, see, he, he don't even wanna play. You know, a typical puppy would be here wanting me to love on him and play with him. But no, he got right up and went back to his goats. <laughs> Ah, so that's awesome. I mean, that is exactly what we want. Um, we are still socializing with him. Not too much. No more than one hour a day. Uh, I don't spend more than that with him. Just because we want him to bond to his livestock. Where'd you go? Come here, Leesky. He don't know his name quite yet. Come here. Come here, Leesky. Come here. He's not going to come to me. He's like, no, you're sitting in the sun. It's too hot. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Leesky. Come. Leesky, come on. Come here, Leesky. He's not going to do it. Now he'll get up and go see Skeeter. Come here, Leesky. Come here. Come here. Yes. So yeah, we got to, uh, we definitely have to work on some commands. Just the basics. I'm not going to overdo it with him. Um, I do want him to come when I call for him. You want belly rubs? Yeah. And I would like to teach him to sit um, and then leave it. I've never really done that with any of our dogs. We've just let them kind of just have their natural instinct and do what they wanted but I I want to work on some different things with him yeah you can do it you can do it <laughs> so he's doing a much better job as far as when I do come out he doesn't whine or cry he just sits and he watches where I'm at he may bark at first but he doesn't cry for me he just gets back up and goes with his goats which is awesome and amazing we're so beyond thrilled with him, but yeah. Like I said, the farm, the breeder that we got him from, big shout out to them. They had actually drove over 300 miles to get the dog to Chad at Adler Farms. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, it's a few videos back. It's his amazing journey from the Smoky Mountains to the Ozarks, I believe is what it's titled. But a pretty awesome story we have a great community and he's done excellent so far for only being here five full days I mean he's just fit right in he's just fit right in and I think I think Daisy would definitely um, be proud of him I think he was meant to be and I think she's uh, she's definitely watching over him and guiding him and um, <clears throat> so yeah I think Daisy would definitely be pleased with him I think she is uh, up there watching over him and guiding him and watching our farm from a better place well, where she can be a hundred percent healthy and you know he definitely has been a blessing to us so far. <laughs> Can you guys see him? He's just lounging around. He's just lounging. Yeah. He's just lounging. You're a good boy. Yes, you are, Leesky. Good boy. Good boy. I was trying to get him to sit up here on this rock with me, but he won't do it. Okay, 
So he's done with the interview process. He's had enough. <laughs> he wants to be in the shade amongst his goats, which is awesome. We couldn't ask for something better than that. I mean, we're just super impressed. So, uh, yeah, just excellent dog so far. Anyway, so if you guys have made it this far, we greatly appreciate you all. Thank you for being a part of our Hidden Heights Farm family. We are so thankful. We hope you've had a wonderful, blessed day. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Smash the thumbs up. Ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. And we'll see you next time, guys. Buddy.